it's Friday. It means one thing, brewskis with bro skis. Well, two in a row, would you believe? <laughs> uh, well, in the jackpot. Knee, knee, corona, knee, body falling out of knee, sicknesses, knee out. Just two weeks straight, we're back. <laughs> we're, not here, we're not here next week, though. I'm, I'll tell you this now, we're not here next week. No, football's on. Yes, for Good Friday, I'll be at the match. I'll, I'll be at the match. Steaming, Willie Beeman. Yeah. Can I wait? Are you, off? Are you off next Friday? Yes. Yeah. I'm a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Same. Buzzing. Can I wait? I oh, can't I remember the last time I had two bank holidays off. I don't think I'm actually, I'll rephrase that. I've never had two bank holidays off in a row. Oh, yeah. I fucking seem to end up with the button. I work like I work everyone because, like I said, we get the availability, don't we? And then request them when if you want much, if you can. But I just, I just literally it was my four day weekend, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, I think because I work, I'm working this full weekend, so I have a day off next week, so they just give us the Friday and then obviously they give us the bank all off. So I was like, oh, no, I'll tap that. Can I kind of complain? Uh, that's true, because you'll be in, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday next week. Aye, the week after, I <laughs> Five days. But then you got the Sunday off, and then you're back to normality with the days off then, aren't you? Best not try and request any leaving on them. Uh, in oh, that, oh God week. forbid. God Jeez. forbid you ask for what's yours. I know. God forbid I actually ask for the hours I can take. <laughs> like, that's what I don't get with our work as well. Like They put all these in there, availability's there, but you can't even take the cunt. So what's the point in having them there? Like, just remove them? If you're not like, just black it out? I've got next Saturday off. I'm going to be working all next weekend, but I've got off. I've got the Sunday, and then the Saturday I got a request. Mm-hmm. Um, there was only two people on the wait list, so we both got it. Um, and then I was like, oh, by the way, I need the third of May off. Because I've, he goes, oh, I don't know, I can do that, Steve. Uh, this fucking knee availability other people's requested. I went, oh, but I'm off the rest of the week. It's me one in seven. Oh, anyway, seven, I yes. I don't for you. Right, one in seven. <laughs> you when you, you went, you've only got three days holiday. And I went, yeah, I only work four. Then <laughs> <laughs> one in seven, they kind of they kind of knock up, they kind of knock about the have to give them as well. Like, yes, I love it. Aye. Um, and then guns into me long weekend. Mm-hmm. So well, when I'm off, when I'm off in June, obviously I need a one in seven doing for June, so I might as well just send it to me gaffer now. Might as well, do you want to do this for us now? <laughs> you have to do it for you us. You have now. to do this now, yeah. <laughs> I'm requesting this now because you have to do this for us now. <laughs> See, with our holidays, is uh, it's it's uh, Kyla and Aaron who sort the job. Like mm. literally, if you need a day off, and they'll have a look, and if there's availability, if there's new availability on the thing, but have a look in. Let's say there's four people off, but there's enough people in. They'll say yes or no to it instantly there and then. Don't have to kind of planning or anything like that. That's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, which is a good thing. Mm. Well, uh, I think it's not this Thursday come, but the one after Ollie's that the dentist get his silver tooth taken out because um, his new one's there, right? Ready? So, um, so I've got the holiday. I've got all the off bar like one hour from nine or ten, and there's no availability left for it. So I think I might chuck that one. Chris Lee's me as well next week saying, look, all five is this one hour for us, please, because I'm off the full day. And he's there. Uh, I'm going to say, like, his appointments. I'll say, but I've got his appointment thing. I think it's, like, quarter past ten. I'm going to say all five is this because I need to take him. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then I think I'm going to have to chuck one of them for the week after and all because uh, I'm giving blood on the 25th. <laughs> and I thought, like, five o'clock or something. He probably just requests you to be moved from his team. I know. I can't, I can't <laughs> wait. I hope he does. <laughs> Uh, I was going to be like, look, I've got letters here, I've got actual proof, so you kind of say no. You've got right. Anyway, fucking enough about work, but not enough of it this week. <laughs> it has been a long week, to be honest. It's been a long week. So, okay. I, so this week we've just got a couple again from S forty three. So still the follow ons from the last time, which we never actually got around to drink oh, And also, by the way, we might not be on the week after either for the podcast because I'm at the uh, Tyson Fury fight on the Saturday. Is that when it is? Jeez. I am up early doors because I'm going to need to get the Metro through to Newcastle at six in the morning. Mm-hmm. So I'll not be drinking much. Fair enough. Fair enough. We might do one like midweek or something, or I, don't know, I might sort something out at some point. I know. Anyways. 
Cool. Right, so today we've got two from S43. Oh, courtesy of the fat lad. Yeah, yeah. So we, well, actually, these are courtesy from S43 themselves. Ah, oh, that's true. So these are the three ones. So we've got an S43 pills, German pills, and that. What the German Shepherd on? Yes. Good can. Great dogs. Lovely dogs. Then get a lot of bad sick them dogs. Don't know why. Nice dogs. I was saying the other day, weren't I? When you didn't see Doberman about these days, do you? Yeah, you know, don't really see many dubs, do you? No, that's, that's very true. To be honest, I seen uh, last week of the week before I was walking from home, and I, I walked around the butchers out there, uh, on my split to kind of get a sandwich in there, get loaned a couple of bits from the butchers, took her, and I thought I got the might have been this fucking wolf dog thing there. It was the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even like, it must have stood about five feet off the floor. I was like, you might as well put a fucking saddle on the cunt. I was like, Jesus Christ, it was fucking what a shit herself. Yeah. Well, obviously she thinks she's a big dog, didn't she? So she there. Uh, she she walks up them, giving it a big in, and then it moves and she's fucking scuttled away. Tail between her legs all the way, around, full <laughs> lean extension. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, yeah, nice dogs, nice dogs. Um German Shepherds three nice dogs. Super friendly, like when you've got one for being around one. Yeah, and then I'd call nice. bastards if you didn't know them. What's that? Mean? I'd call bastards if you didn't Aye. know them. Aye. And then the next one we've got there is a uh, windowsill of conspiracy, mosaic IPA. Bit of an Illuminati theme coming on there, <laughs> which obviously just goes to show off the name. <laughs> we love a good conspiracy. Yep. Love it. Love it. All the time in the world. But like talk about conspiracies even like I think it might have been Wednesday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Um might be Wednesday after the first Champions League game. Not Tuesday it was. Just finished watching Man City downstairs. And I literally I just put on my phone and start watching TikToks for like literally 10 minutes. And uh because yeah, coming up I was like I knew I was that was like five to ten. Next thing I knew, my phone went flat at twenty to twelve. It was like Shit, I best get out of bed then. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I fell in a rabbit hole on TikTok just watching conspiracy after conspiracy. I'm like, oh my God. I've got a conspiracy against me, I think. Like, why is no one watching any videos I put in that group chat? I watch it. I, I actually, I enjoyed it, me. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't, I just didn't want to see after anybody was there. Like, giving, it, <laughs> giving it shit about uh, it. <laughs> I watched it and I went, fuck, it's like a watermelon. <laughs> uh, I, watched it, I watched it a few times. I showed Christina and she was like, very gross. I was like, it's kind of good though. Oh, hi. Oh, it is. We, we kind of really talk about it, but it was a kind of good, it was a kind of good video. But I like, it just looked like a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. There's a bus, a bike, I know what's happening. Oh, man, she's... Oh, that was it, that's it. Well, with Brett with his fucking cock videos, you'd be oh, right. Brett, Brett puts the worst videos in, man, I guess. I'm not the same mine's worse than his. They're not. No, they're not. Brett's is... You know exactly what you're getting from Brett's videos. Mine are fucking more disturbed. He's his fucking... Grim. Aye. Two different types of vile. <laughs> <laughs> Two different types of disturbing is what we should see. <laughs> Look, I'm just a share of me. <laughs> ah, I, think <laughs> Brett, I think Brett openly goes out his way to source them videos as well. Oh, 100%. He probably got people in ours. Aye. He's probably like fucking coming these people right and filming it. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Brett's, Brett's the main guy. Brett's the, like you said, the distributor. <laughs> okay, now. Oh, talking about weirdos. Watch Savile last night. Oh, you know what? I seen the kid about on Netflix. Didn't think I want to watch it. Is it grim? Mate, he Max Jeffrey Epstein looked like a fucking saint. Oh my god. I People watch. at work were like that. <laughs> fucking hell, Steve. Because I went, at the end of the day, right? At least the lasses were getting hundred dollars off Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I started watching this program on Netflix. I was speaking to somebody on the phone, and she tell us to watch it. Uh, called My Octopus Teacher or something like that. Um, it's about a guy who lives in the fucking reef, and this octopus gets a norm and stuff like. And I watch it. I I, I saw. I fight. I've got to commit. The octopus kill him in the end. I don't know. I turn off after half an hour. 
I was bored. Was it? I was bored as fuck. It was like an hour and a half movie, and I got bored after half an hour. <laughs> I, was like, I watched it. I watched it Jimmy Savile, and I was like, ah, is that it? <laughs> like, at the end of the first one, fucking hasn't even told you anything. I thought it was just one episode. Like, because it's done like an hour and a half each episode. Like, is that it? Didn't even get the. Didn't even tell you about them fucking beasting people. And then when that episode could two come up and it was like, Aww. like camera gone dodgy and like that. They all thought he was a great person. I was like, he were gone. This is what I was after. So what do I need to do? Just skip episode one and get straight. No, do you know what? It's really good done. If anyone wants to watch it, I would I would 100% recommend it to you. Because it's not like the Epstein ones where they're all over the joint. Like this one, it makes him out like he's a fucking saint on the first one. Mm. All the charity work you don't like. He raises millions, mm. right? And then the second one shows why he was doing it. And you're like, fuck. Like, literally, mm. mate, I'll tell you what, right? It was a bit in his horror. And you, if I'm saying it's fucking horrifying, it's fucking it's grim, mate. Aye. It's when the last time about in, in the in the church on the oh. Sunday service, I was like, Jesus, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it a watch because I you know I like I love a good true story like that. Like same as um same as Surviving R. Kelly, it was good. Same oh, as um um there was another one. Um the guy who played Melton football, um OJ Simpson. No man, eh uh, Baldy Head guy. Ah oh. oh Aaron Hernandez. Oh yeah. But that was a that was a, that, that was a really good program. Aye. Like in like he was a fucking wrong and a half, but that was a really good program. Um Aye, but if you if you got night to watch, you got a spare couple of hours, fucking bang Jimmy on. But I, I might I might try and watch it, start watching it time, but I, I, it depends how like when we come off here how tired I am because uh so I've been non-stop with you. It's one way you can watch the first episode and then go back and watch the second episode yeah. at a later date, but I'm um, Telling you, mate, it's fucking fan. It, that's not fantastic for the people, but the way the documentary is done is brilliant because, like, it makes him out. As I said, the first episode. If you didn't know anything about Jimmy Savile, and you were watching that, you'd be like, "What a fucking good bloke." The way portrays am I? Mm. And then the next episode, you're like, "Fuck it out." As I said to people at work, I went, I had to stop eating me popcorn at one point. <laughs> <laughs> when you were fucking eating popcorn, watching about Jimmy Savile, oh, that's fucking, it's on the TV, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> I bet everyone's like, oh, fucking hell, when I said the Epstein bit. <laughs> people just didn't get you. People just didn't get you. <laughs> By the way, I don't condone anything. Like <laughs> we, gotta, we would want to put this out there now. <laughs> It's just a joke, you know what I mean? But just in case I've lost Spotify listen to this in any circumstances. <laughs> I, I do not condone what I've seen. Got <laughs> oh, Savile, by the way. I, but... <laughs> or any of those weird cunts. <laughs> I, R. Kelly, yeah. Well, yeah. Have you seen Dave Chappelle? It, what what about him now? No, have you not seen have you seen the stand-up he done? I think I, th- I think we might have spoke about it. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, choice. on one the main out there, we were watching it when he was up, and on one the bright button, Chappelle's eye guns. Oh, yeah, I was asked if I wanted to be on uh, Surviving R. Kelly, and I told them no. Yeah. And then the, they went on an interview and said, Oh, yeah, and Dave Chappelle didn't want to be in because he was defending them. He goes, I just want everyone to let you everyone know the reason why I didn't want to be on the Surviving R. Kelly is because I didn't know R. Kelly. I never even met R. Kelly and <laughs> asking us to be on a thing about R. Kelly, sir. He goes, and so I was watching it with something, I was listening to it, and he goes, hearing somebody have a transcript of a sex tape is worse than hearing the sex tape. Oh, yeah, I love this 14-year-old pussy. There's nothing better than this 14-year-old pussy. You're sitting there thinking, fucking hell, R. Kelly, shut the fuck up, will you? Oh, Give man. your fucking lawyer a chance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Having transcript read out as well, it just sounds awful. Like because it's it did, didn't it? It's literally just your your interpretation of it, isn't it? So it's did. Well, I th- I don't think there's more many interpretations. I love this fourteen. No, that's it. That's it. Like you said, like, <laughs> but like I'm talking about in, in just in general and stuff. Like it's just um, transcripts is is always bad. When somebody pulls up a transcript again, so you're like, yeah, you're in the shitter. You well, we talk. at work that can request a transcript. Yeah, uh, chat's done. Mm-hmm. And one of the lasses on our department loves reading mine because 
like we do like chat leveling and that, like what you could do better to get the chat quicker and about FT and that. And she just fucking loves mine. She's like, ah, Steve, I've never seen anyone be so to the point as what you are. Yeah. And like literally for an example, someone comes on and goes, oh, it won't let us log into the RAC app. And my first response was, we don't have an app. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, you didn't even say hi or anything. Like, what do you want us to say? It's the truth. Hi there, let me have a look at this for you. Actually, by the way, we don't have an app. Hi there, certainly I can check that for you. We don't have an app. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the reason for this being is we don't have an app. <laughs> you're going to put there's an app on the app store, and yeah, that's for breakdown. You're going to, well, I've got breakdown in my uh, insurance, and it's for breakdown members who buy the breakdown. He goes, Oh, well, I've been missold this because I was told I would get an uh, app. I went, Oh, hey, you missold it? You went, done it online. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I've, I've been missold because I've done it online. I was told there was an app. What? By who? Because you've done it online, mate? <laughs> if you can show me where you signed up and it said you got an app, I will create an app and have, let you have it. <laughs> I'm not confident. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, man, I said some people are asking, what was the really to try to tell you, like, they know better than you and you're like, you know, that's what that's what I don't get when people try to tell you that they know your job better than you. And it's like, well, you you, you really don't. And all the ones that you get, I've worked in insurance all my life. What insurance? I don't know, like, I don't know. Pet insurance. Aye. <laughs> so, oh, aye, because you've worked in some sort of insurance, you know car insurance, you know every type of insurance go on. It's like, no, you don't. I just hate those people. Like, I had a woman today, who goes, oh, yeah, you'll get your refund, it'll take eight days. Why eight days? It's- Bank transfers in snow and but it's not a bank transfer. Which is like, well, what do you mean? I went, did you did we give you our bank account details and you give and you then put the hundred and ninety pound in our bank, did you? Or did you pay it on a card, which is a card transaction? Of course, card transaction. I went, well, how well, do you think we're gonna give it back to you? The same route it's came. Yeah. Which is like, ah, give us a dissatisfying was that. In this day and age, do, do, do. and I actually explained her. I went, look, these these timescales are nothing to do with us insurance or any company that you're with. They're to do with the bank and regulations. Mm-hmm. But you're having to go at me because you don't like something that somebody else has put in place. <laughs> you don't. You're not happy with the fact that this has been regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, but it's my fault. <laughs> we as a company have to redeem it. But I'll tell you what, June. <laughs> We'll just fucking bypass all of that and bank transfer you some money. People, oh, so when people are naps, what was on with the really are. Awesome. I went again, oh, I, I've missed the payment. Give us your ba- give the bank account details and I'll uh, transfer it over. And how the fuck are we now meant where what policy it's gone again against? <laughs> yeah. It is. Oh look, we're just getting a 60 quid in the bank. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just check all the thousands of fucking insurances we've got and see who pays this money. I love the ones I can say, I haven't got any details, but if I give me bank details, can you find it? Like, why? Why would we find the one which is using a so called account number? Like, or we'll give us your long card, I'll give you my long card number, I paid off, can you check me insurance? Like, no. <laughs> like, you, I bet you just give us your name, date of birth, and fucking postcode, mate. I know. That's it, man. Like I said, like some of them are just pff, crazy, absolutely crazy. Some customers, they really are. Anyway, enough of that, I've seen work. <laughs> Enough of those mugs. <laughs> what are we going again for? So we're going again the pills now, or we're going again the uh, mosaic IPA. We'll do the mosaic IPA first of all, because if it's any good, we can always rely on the pills to finish strong. Pills and pills now. All right, let's do it. So we obviously, like you said, we love a good conspiracy. This one, which we were gi- given by S forty three. Um. Windowsill of Conspiracy, little Illuminati triangle thing going on, 6.8%. I was up near that. It is about boundaries. <laughs> um, and the little thing on here says triangles, triangles, triangular, triangle, triangles. It's all about the triangles. Hand on the 26th of July, January, best before the 25th of July. That's the thing I like about these, but when it was kind of... That's what I, that's what I like about S43, the decent class. 
Right, let's get the football. Oh, so let's go for the can. I will give the can a eight and a half. Yeah, I'd agree. Like all it's, it's quite, a color, it's a color scheme. That, like. that's what, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. All it's a quite a simple can, but the purple and like the yellowy orange goldy color like stands out really good. Mm-hmm. And I like the fact that the S forty three itself is normally like a, an orange, and they've put that in with the color around the uh, triangles and stuff. Aye, fits in well. So yeah, I'll agree. Eight point five is solid. Solid to go for that can. Best sound ever. It's on a hot Friday night. When you up to on the Oh, it smells really nice just from the can. Uh, it does. It smells quite fruity. Mm-hmm. Pause quite a fruity colour. Oh yeah, baby, that's what you call a great pour. Yes. Got the fish out. Yes, I'll yeah. do one side you did you as if as if we planned that. <laughs> pour, I'm giving, giving oh. the pour. Let's see how it settles, but I think it's settling all right. Mine, yeah, mine is. Good fizz, good bubbles. Gone a ten. I'll give it a nine. Take nine and a half for that. All right, fizz. Fishies up. On the other side. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> Not a bad drink, not a bad drink. Um, it's got quite a like a gritty, t- no, obviously not great, but like a little bit of a it's a tangy aftertaste, a little bit of a punch, hasn't it? Yeah, a bit of a sour aftertaste. Mm-hmm. It's, got, it's got a little bit of a punch. I like that. I like that though. Not a bad drink. Oh, remember, um, qualifying is at eight o'clock in the morning. I know. <sighs> Crazy. That's the only thing about Australian Grand Prix. Long I'll watch it and then go back to Cape. Well, I can it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it in there. Uh, <laughs> I'll watch it and then start work. <laughs> well, have you heard about the timings uh, in second practice? I didn't even see second practice. I've seen first. Um, second practice was Leclerc. Mm-hmm. Uh, then Verstappen, Sainz, Fernando. Yes. Um, Perez, Ocon, then Sainz. Nice, nice. No, no, uh, Perez, Ocon. So that looks like the top three at the moment is mm-hmm. Alpine and them two. Yeah, I think that's what it is. At, at the moment, I think the Bulls, the Ferraris and Alpine have uh, stepped up. Well, the Ferraris are the fastest car. I thought it was got a great car, um, yeah. Then it's the Red Bulls. And then I'm going to go on Alpines and the best of the rest. <laughs> Even though the results haven't shown it, they are. I think they are. I think they've got a pretty. I think they, well, we are in this conversation, but I think Hassel got a great car this year. Well, they weren't too clever to deal with 15 and 8. I, I, seen, I seen Mick um, was bottom of time and one, but that wasn't reflective on him. They were saying uh, he was just getting out, and then obviously there was the red flag. Aye. But the second, I always gone from the second practice is the one. Because that's quality pace practice. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So that kind of gives you the true indication of what the car can be. And when the Ferrari's hitting it and the Alpines are only four tenths behind it, that's mm. a fucking major step up yeah, from good. the good. first race of the season. I love there. Uh, I love seeing. I've seen the stills and stuff of Seb on his uh, scooter D and Noanders. <laughs> getting in see trouble. Seb's on, see Seb with the fire extinguisher. I, he's on his car <laughs> and then he's <laughs> the fucking scooter in there. Drove all the way around the track to get the pit lane. He's in. He's getting in trouble with that though from the stewards and the uh, racing. I kill joys, aren't they? And uh, the fun police. <laughs> and Seb, <laughs> Seb just doing his bit of entertain us when it's a red flag. Or oh, two seconds. This cast man, his, his helmet up on his fucking top of his head. He's doing no handers on a scooter, driving around this track. <laughs> so you know. Tench the stench. Mm-hmm. Entry. I've ever told you a story about her and a Beyonce when they went into William Hills on a tip I gave them for the Grand National. No, but I bet it wasn't good. Right. So, 
me and Andy Eslock were in work on a Saturday, right? And she I need to work part time, so she was leaving at like two o'clock. Mm-hmm. And she goes, Oh, you got any tips for the uh, national? And I'll give Heslock a wink now. And yeah, yeah, dusty carpet's never been beaten. Because that ah, dusty carpet. And I just go, Oh, what odds are that? And I think it's about 20 to 1, but it's in for a right good shape. Bang it on each way. Five or each way, you're looking at at least a good uh, 25, 30 quid back. If it comes, because it's definitely going to place, it might even win. Mm-hmm. Like dusty car, I just can't, never been beat. Like, all right, he <laughs> works. So, anyway, she guns in, guns on, win for a tip for the fucking national. <laughs> She's like, ooh, dusty car, never been beaten, win, wet behind the lugs and all. Fucking hell, never been beaten. Who give you that hops? Oh, he knows he's racing. Then he's like, oh, I. We've gone to Will Hills. Gone to Will Hills, looking up the thing. He's like, it's not on it. She's like, it is. Dusty carpet, it's never been beaten. So then he went up. we have gone to the fucking wifey behind the counter. I see you. One of the lads went, at work, uh, dusty carpet, never been beaten. But is it a non-runner or something? And the woman's arch dance. Just think about what you've said there. Dusty carpet, never been beaten. He's tapping the piss. It's a carpet that's dusty because it's never been beaten. She's like, ah, what a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Voice message, you fucking prick. I'm in Will Hills. We've had a fucking battle about it. <laughs> Me and Nesla were just fucking pissing ourselves laughing. <laughs> dusty carpet. So she just, just messages there. Any tips for tomorrow, Dusty Carpet? <laughs> Can't believe it's a national tomorrow. It's come out with anywhere. I know. Like, fucking, I went to Real. So I went, I'm going to put a fucking bet on today because I lost 30 quid yesterday. And Zuli ran the win. I went, do, 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 do. Five winners out of fucking seven. Didn't have any of them on. Oh, typical. Absolutely typical. <laughs> if I would have put them on, there would have been anywhere. <laughs> like an unwritten rule, isn't it? Like an unwritten rule. Right, I think I've uh, like I said the last horse bet I put on was at Cheltenham, and like I said it was the one with fucking led the full race from start to finish. Knee horse around him, last jump, fucking fell under, them, fell fell by himself. There was knee horse about fucking twenty furlongs away from him. I had the fucking same horse on. That furious. Like me and Amelia watch it. We were we got into town, so I was watching on my phone. Fucking buzzing, like, get up there, big money coming back in, fell. Sick as me, like, we're going back home, we're not spending any money. <laughs> well, I, uh, I thought, oh, there was any decent horses, like, good prices mm-hmm. in the, uh, won the races yesterday. And there was two favourite, Miles' favourite, there were, and there were the best two horses in the fucking race. Five to two for them to finish first or second, any order. Yeah. 21 lengths clear, both of them come to the last fence. One of the horses decided not to jump and fell through it. Oh, my God. That was like you said, that was like Cheltenham all over again. I'd be a fucking sick. Oh, Cheltenham had jumped. I this jumped. One didn't just even a... just ran into the open yeah. fence. <laughs> yeah, you know, obviously that hurts. Like we've had, like I said, we had horses growing up, like, and I used to like hurdle horses and stuff. And getting flung off horse, it's not fucking fun. It fucking aches. Absolutely jip all year, aren't you? Oh, 100%. <laughs> we were jip was going up, like saying that we said it for years. Like we moved so many times growing up. I think in one year, I think we might have had like three different houses in one year. And two caravans. Hi. <laughs> and a fucking horse box. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you for you and me? Mm-hmm. But I, uh, being flung off horse, it's not fun. Like, I was watching him. I was watching a TikTok earlier on. They actually about a jockey. He went out, he went to the house, he's horse. The fucking flung him off. And he's sitting lying in the fucking, in the hurdle, in the fence. And then he gets to get up, and then a horse jumps over the top of him. He's like, shit, I'll best lie in. And then he shouts, Am I safe? Like, no, not yet. And there's another horse jumps over them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get up there? He's like, Are you good now? <laughs> okay, now. And he gets himself out of the fucking bush. <laughs> oh, it's mad as hell, but I say, uh, it's brutal. If I had my ribs cracked off at horse and boot this fucking some sizes cut horse and all. Crack my ribs yeah. a few times now, actually, when I think about it. I- yeah. I pulled a good joke about your mick the other day when I was in town. Aye. My uncle saw walking around and be not a new closet club. It's called the Closet Club. Oh, it's oh, on yes, corner, yes. I, on the Cooper Rose. Was I in the Closet Club, I. So me and my uncle was walking around and went to the fucking Closet Club. <laughs> and he's just burst out laughing. 
I went, oh, my mate's brother's gave me. He, he answered, he went, I answered. He fucking went up there and rejected him. He went, why is that? He answered, he was fucking too gay for the place. Mm-hmm. He had to be in the closet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that tells him about the uh, bus fare room. <laughs> my favourite joke, I cracked um, I cracked at the actual Michael over there and all. Uh, I was last, I was winding them up or something. And I messed like was left from, uh, and I was like, hey man, no man, it's still here so cock for bus fare money and still walked home. And he's like, I fucking did. <laughs> yeah, I love, did I love, he I love, ever? I love winding them up, me. <laughs> The easiest person to wind up on all these bikes so so easy. Ah, oh, your family, Dave. You were squatty's exactly the fucking same. I know, I know. Why not, Dave and all? <laughs> Nasha. Nasha. Nah, he cost the bite that much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking call him. Just call him mouth shield or something, or like gum shield. <laughs> <laughs> But I kind of, I kind of wait for. Yeah, I was fighting with Steam on Saturday actually. Well, sure. And she was only steaming before, like she was out. She sh- she shut the pub on Friday night, and then she went down the club, and then uh, then she come to meet met, met me on Saturday. She was fucking still steaming, so I went in the casino, won some money, paid for the full day class, loved it. Um, then we have got some beers in there, went down to the pub, a couple of beers in there. Couple of bees in the stadium, a couple of bees afterwards, so she was steaming. And uh she went fuck a 95th minute, she goes, I went, let's just go. I was like, no, definitely not. It's like we're not gone. 30 seconds later, fucking brought in, banged in, pushed her down two flights of stairs, get out there, you don't care. <laughs> uh, sent her flying, and then the woman next to me fucking jumping all over the script on the back me cough up this chair. I was like, yeah, bitch, gonna punch her all over. <laughs> What was it? What was it? Like, was Tiz steaming? Oh, Tiz was in a, oh, he was in a bad, bad way. It must have been out. I was out down out the night before when he was like, with his mom, them. I seen all these Snapchat, he was out with his mom and stuff. Um, and he was in a fucking bad way. He got picked up about maybe just before, just after half time. He went, went down for a piss. And uh, we, we was talking him on the way down because I was sweating, wanting his gloves because our hands were freezing. When I give them on the way back up, never never showed back From up. The shoulder. Never showed back up. <laughs> never showed back up. And anyway, he messed in. I got picked up. <laughs> he, was in, he was in a bad way. Like you literally just he was standing there and he looked like dead on his feet. He looked done. He kind of day two days in a row. And then he I was lord in the first night, didn't he? Started Tony was I. Uh, double wasn't actually happy about you and your uh, and your beat or meter rating for Sambuca. Said Sam Book was shite. He went, uh, and how are you? He went, I thought you guys were supposed to be honest. I went, we are. He went, well, why are you fucking licking Sam Book's ass? He went, it's fucking dreadful. I was like, it wasn't me. He's like, oh, it's Steve. Steve to fucking think properly. I say it's good for what it is. So if you look, you're you know, going you pay cheap. Yeah, expect cheap, but for the price you pay, it's good. You know what I think? I think what he did, he got Sam Book and your other one mixed up where you give 10 out of 10. The um, place on Pallion. Oh, the Urban Terrace Kitchen, because I didn't even give a beard rating for. I, I didn't, that's, what I, that's what I didn't think you did. But I, just, I just remembered one. Sam, I remember you posted Sam Booger, and I knew you, like, you give one of them 10 out of 10, and he got them two of them mixed up. But I said, uh, he said you were talking shite for Sam Booger. I was like, I've never been. Did the food look shite? Me? He asked me. Aye. I didn't mean like Italians, but it looked all right. It looked good enough to eat. Italians? What's well, fucking Italian about fucking um, belly pork on black bun? <laughs> oh, I thought you got like pasta or something, didn't you? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. What steak? Yeah, where the fuck did I get pasta from? I don't know. Um, well, I didn't like um, black pun, but belly pork, I'll pat the belly pork. You're um, fucking idiot, Dobbs. Oh, yeah. I put that thing on the other day just to fucking see if it would be bite. Which one? About the drug that doesn't work. I'm like, oh yeah, but then now what's best for us? Oh yeah, hi, hi. <laughs> did he bite? <laughs> no, did he shite? <laughs> did he see it? <laughs> he saw her and I. I was oh, like, oh, I went to somebody at work and I've only done this so fucking. That's worse than so it when you're not, you put some just for a reaction from someone and you see that to see it and you get out, you're like, you bastard. Mate, he'd have been fucking stewing. I'd be really absolutely seething inside. I 
probably punch him in his anyway, Mrs. All over. If I give a shit what Dobbs you fought, then I would fucking kill myself. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true. Like guy, but uh, I was like, I didn't, I didn't really know. I've never been. And then I was like, and I was like, so actually we're gone. <laughs> I was like, Tony wants to see you later. Can see you in the ground. I see you. I was like, I was like didn't talk to us. I fucking hate him. <laughs> Down the bottom of our Darren and I. Mm. What a fucking night for them to. All I'm going to do is talk about how shite the undercard is, how shite the new main event is. How shite? What I mean, new main event? But obviously, he's not fighting white no more, is he? Ah, he is. Oh, he's fighting. Is he back on now? It's always been on. It's everyone, every boxing match is always just like a person being drafted in case one of them gets injured. Mm hmm. And that's all that's been done. There's no out the order. No, I, was, I thought I thought it was I thought like I mean I thought it was fully off. No, no. Hmm. I don't know anything about it being out on Sky or out. Hmm. Oh, well, that's all I thought. I thought. I thought it was fully off, but oh, fair enough. But I imagine though, like, because that's what they're saying. The group one, imagine like the pulling. He pulls out and they just get some fucking job of in. Oh, if you know all this money. It wouldn't surprise you a fucking uh, what's he called? Eddie Earn. No. Oh, Tyson Fury. Um, Frank. Boxing. Tyson Fury boxing fucking jobbers. <laughs> Frank Warren in this. He's a little. You know what? Like between, to be honest, between him and Eddie, I was glad I didn't know who I'd like as a promoter. Eddie. I just think they're both dickheads, me. I but at least Eddie gets you a good pair, dear. Well, that's true. <laughs> you are all tomorrow. Oh man, kind of wait for fucking uh, good card tomorrow. Gilbert Burns is fight. Who? Burns. Is he fighting? Oh man, that Russian Shaka, whatever he's called. I don't know. I didn't even know he was fighting. To be honest, um, I've seen obviously Korean Zombie versus fucking. Um, Oh, what's it called again? What's your name? Volkanovski. Uh, Volkanovski, yeah. And then obviously you've got um, Pete Yan and his rematch against them. Um, ah, oh, I can't even pronounce Sterling. his name. Hey? Sterling. I say, we would call him Sterling. Hi. Gilbert Burns versus uh, Kamzat uh, Chimiev. I can't, I can't picture him. Mate, I'll tell you what, I'll, Aaron, me and Aaron talk about it all the time because he loves the UFC. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I, I look, I went, I think Burns might deem him, even though this other lad's fucking 10 and lower. Mm -hmm. But Burns is a fucking animal on the stand up and he's animal on the floor as well. And uh, Nancy, he's got a chance, but I think the other lad will deem him. And uh, he went, Hey, watch this, a fucking hype video. I was like, Fucking that is a fucking yeah, hype. Is it a great hype, is it? <laughs> oh, fucking fantastic it is. I'll send you it. Uh, but this bloke, this chimney boy, he's called, um, as I said, I can't. Right. He he's basically won three fights in UFC in 66 days. Boss more that uh... mate. He fought at Fight Island one week, destroyed someone, went up two weight classes and fought someone else a week later and destroyed him. Mad that's mad. I uh Jim never see my Gilbert Burns. I but uh, I was watching early on, I was watching between uh Sterling and Pete Yan when uh Fucking young, need him when he's down on the floor. Like he was out for the count. Like still, like Sterling tried to get him about four times. Like oh shit, <laughs> he was in trouble. Well, Henry Cejudo's had a bit of a ding dong with Peter Yan. Has he? Aye. Still retired, Henry. Yes. For now, <laughs> there's always a comeback in the UFC. Where is it? He had a bit of beef with Fotsy Carl as well. And I've seen Henry's been having some beef with quite a lot of people recently. Yeah. He's trying to stir the puff when he comes so, This is uh, Peter Yan via the MMA hour. I hope Henry and Sean O'Malley are going to show up to corner me on Saturday night. Just need to make sure they don't give me shitty advice. Just give me ice and water and I'll be fine. So who do I? I'll give you more... Like skids and shitty advice between your knees and O'Malley steroids. 
it's just too much illegal activity for me to be involved in. Hashtag triple C is out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kind of. I wonder when Sugar Sean's next fight is. So then, uh, what's he called? Uh, put on the wang sign, the fucking come and the face gone. <laughs> and uh, Henry Cejudo responded with, you don't need to spell knee with a D on the end. <laughs> precious. It was like early on, Christina Gans, I would answer, and Christina, I don't know, I date the other, I was like, your dad was like, Christina, I'm a fucking six-year-old, you know, like, I'm not just going to date him because your dad is a dear. Like, get a grip, man. <laughs> hey. I had to shake a day. I was like, Christina, I'm fucking 32-year-old. Like, get a grip. <laughs> Mate, I'm like that. People at work, I'm not saying I'll give you a quid for it. I'll give you a quid thing that I read. I did. I did. I said that now. I said that now to Christina. I was like, "Dude, I'll give you a fiver. I'll give you a quid." You fucking tag it, huh? Doesn't never does it. The kid, I was like, "Dude, I'll give you a quid." Fucking Emily's like, "It's a tell I'm not even interested." <laughs> Fuck off, then. Back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, next. We were walking home from school the other uh, yesterday. With the kids and uh, we were just chatting about stuff and uh, again we were talking about like uh, cool being cool and stuff and uh, I look I was like look how old he is any of years not about that I don't know I was like I said look I went <laughs> from Amelia I was like I expect greatness from Amelia I went from Ollie I expect coolness from you and it ends with one of me I was like from you I, like, I expect absolutely nothing <laughs> and uh, she was like I was like no nah, I just expect drama from you like, all the time. Ollie to be cool, fucking hell. He's a cool little character, all he is. Not. He is. <laughs> He's Ollie. A... Oh, I've got fucking like this stuff in the bottom of the glass. I didn't worry about it, mate. It's only stuff the uh, brewing, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm going to smash it in and all. Extra, extra protein. <laughs> mm. right, nice. That was a nice beer. Overall, what would you I... give it? I'll give it a seven and a half for a taste. Mm-hmm. Um, so overall for me, it would be a nine and a half. Sorry, nine, eight and a half, seven and a half. Um, eight and a half? So yeah, eight and a half for me. I'll give that. I'll give that. Good score. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll agree. Good drink. Even now we've got the Teddy. Yeah. No, we've got Teddy Chesner. Yeah. <laughs> Can I go man for free? <laughs> exactly. Right. Ooh. For this one, I'm going to give the can a nine. A nine? Why? The dog. Just, the, just for the German itself. The German Shepherd also it looks quite German, the can, so the theme's quite good. It sticks with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I just think it says Luda for president, best book in the world. Although I like I like I love the German Shepherd, but I just think the can's very like basic. But I, say, I like because it it's like it's German the, the, it? and it's very German. I the dog the dog itself like pulls you in for the can. Um that's why I've given a nine because the theme is on point with it. Yeah. I'll, I'll stick. I'll stick with a nine with you then. I'll. I'll stay there. Well, it's a although it's a like basic cam, but it does the trick, doesn't it? it brings it in. Right, hundred percent. That's what they've just released two new bees and all. I was there. Uh, I was going to message them today, but I just never got a chance to, like, to get around to dinner because I've been all over the place today, like when we die. And uh, I was going to message, but I thought, eh, hi. Right. out. <laughs> I know, I've seen it, I've seen it up a couple of eye. Um, but now one of the things legit, and we just took uh, the pub off, Michael and Ryan, because they're not together no more. <laughs> well, by how long? I know. But to be honest, it lasted a little while. But uh, They'll be back together. I think Ryan's gone down Manchester, or Liverpool somewhere. To live? Aye. Just, he's just had all his stuff shipped down there today, like, took down a day. So what's happening uh, with all the pubs in that? I think they're, well, they had three, they had like, I think that's five. They got rid of two at first. And then I think they've got one more, which is getting sold or something on Monday. And Lee just set his own like, like business for the pubs and stuff. So he just took Pointon Hill, the half moon. 
trying to cut to us. Sweaty works in. I like all of them, like sweaty me mum and like uh, Mark, fat Mark. Just kind of just work between the three of them. So, and obviously, Lee's still got some fingers in some other pies. Okay. He's you got a bastard, you do. Uh, as you do, as you do, fingers in every <laughs> pie. Um, so I said, it should be all right. It should, should be all right. I think it's that probably a good one. Crying little... still. Eh? Mixed still in tears. Mixed still crying. Mixed always fucking crying. Fucking up and down like a roller coaster. Be fat and grinded within the week. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking more cock up or fence still walking home. <laughs> I'm sorry. So he's took that out. So we've been all over the job today, like getting stuff in. Just, just little things that he's done already. Like in like two days, the pub looks so much better off. So, um, it would be run better. Obviously, Liam knows what he's doing. The, the pub never had any books done or nothing when they were doing it. They were just happy just to tack money out the till and because they thought they were big ballers, shot callers when they weren't. So, this is what it is. Any more new trackies for you or Mick? <laughs> we have to get the fucking. He not have to get the uh, buttons anymore for his suit. He'll be fucking Oxfam. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be telling the suit to oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Right. But then, um, let's cut this German open. Moving down, moving side to side like a roller coaster. Smells like That's a pill. That's smell. I just think it smells like a pills. Smells creamy, if that's even a thing. Might need a way of that sound. Oh, I can smell from me. I didn't like that. Not a good pour either. Oh, oh I seen somewhere earlier today. Um, I think I think I seen something like the world's first rice beer, and I was going to uh, buy them, but, but I'm, I've got busy, distracted. My pour was Megan. Look at this. Whew. Ha! I don't want to play it with that boy. I don't for that. I've got Gurley. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, Gurley will always fucking have me back. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, it went fucking silly. He's you on your watch. And I'm like, no, man, I didn't see that. Get a grip. Why are you a slag? <laughs> didn't answer that one, did you? <laughs> we're moving up and down <laughs> I love seeing uh, just watching uh, videos of uh, Lando Norris and his videos oh, I don't like the smell of that don't yeah. like it <laughs> eh? don't like it the smell looks a funny colour cheers cheers Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Nah. <laughs> uh, it tastes the bottom of the barrel. The flat. Uh, it tastes the so flat. It tastes burnt. Yeah. Yeah, it does very rustic. Uh, uh, oh, it's, got a, zero, it's got a disgusting aftertaste. Like, uh, it's minging. Yeah. I'm giving it a zero. I'll agree. There's nothing I like about that at all. I'm actually chucking it. <laughs> I might move on to one that I just picked up as well, but uh, yeah, that's, that's not very good at all. Um, no. That is a big, fat duck egg. That is a disappointing. Do you know what? I might stop getting pilsners. I think, do you know Graham? Mm-hmm. I think he's reading what he says. The Brits kind of fucking and brew a good pills now. True, true. Um, yeah. Oh, that's not good at all. I could. I just got a taste of it. It was scream. Yeah, I weren't fucking looking forward to it when I smelt it in the can. I was like, oh. I couldn't really smell it in the can. I could smell it from the. Oh no, the can. I could smell it from the can, but from the the glass, didn't couldn't really smell much. But yeah, it's not. Oh. That is not good. The board's getting a fucking zero because it's flat as a fart now. Hi, mine's gone. Even though that fucking what of it, it's gone. Look, I'm just giving a zero across the board. <laughs> All of the cameras are good can. <gasps> we bring them big styles. Aye. 
I might give it a one. For just, that. <laughs> give it a one just for the can. No. Because <laughs> we are we love German Shepherds, so we'll give it a one for the overall one. But it's not a good drink. I nah, that was sorry to say. It's the worst S forty three drink I've ever drank. Oh, without doubt, without doubt. It, I think it's one of the worst drinks I've ever drank. Yeah, I, I was going to say the same thing. To be honest, it's like not just S forty three, like who uh, literally hit us with bang after bang normally, but uh, yeah, I think that's legit, probably one of the worst drinks we've ever done. S43, stick to the IPAs. <laughs> stick to them, yeah. <laughs> stick to the good stuff. Um, um, zero for me on that. Yeah. Uh, the taste in me gobs horrible. Yeah, it's a, it it's a minging taste like everything. Just the, the full after taste and everything, it's just, it's horrible. It's rank. It's not a good drink. So yeah. Sorry, but... It was disgusting. No, it's not bombshell. <laughs> On that absolute gripper. Yeah, tonight was just obviously just, like, just a quick one just to get these out there, get them done, blast it off. Yeah. I believe that's been in my fridge for three weeks, turning up electricity. <laughs> for absolutely nothing, it's been disgusting. Get poured down me sink. I was... Um, it was kind of grim, like it wasn't it wasn't great. So it's a shame. It's a shame, but we'll be back at some point with some. I will be back S forty three at some point. With some of the ones we'll have to get there, get the yeah, the new ones, see if they can redeem themselves. <laughs> Redemption episode. <laughs> <laughs> we might, I might uh, get into them, see if he wants to pop one at some point. See if he wants I'm to redeem. Tell them about the book of German I Shepherd. Re- redeem themselves because that wasn't great. Yeah, see what the what they have to say. But I nice nice little episode tonight. Not not too over the top. Got stuff on. Been a busy days. Far and away and everything, Amy. Oh these are stinkers. <laughs> I'm trying to do them quietly so they're not picked up by the microphone. <laughs> I was in um I was in BM's this morning with mum and oh not with mum with I was sweaty in my door. And when I said back in you might as well stomp and grind. No, I know we were wet grangy. Um so went there and then uh, we went in the burger van, bacon sauce sandwich, best thing and started there at nine o'clock. And then uh, I would fit, now when you like your Mac fart noise, you just kind of like <clears throat> or I don't know, like <clears throat> like I Becky dropped one like that. Exactly like, and I like and I looked around and I was like so yeah, man, and fart noise. She went, no, I just fart. I was like, you fucking scuffy couldn't hear, man. I was like, oh, what are you saying? She was like, you fucking smelly bastard. She fucking stung. Ooh, unbelievable, Jeff. Wolves, Newcastle, uh, penalty to Newcastle. Yeah. Right, so. Chris Woods through one-on-one, and it's one of the ones that I hate when they're giving us a penalty. Yes, the keeper's hit them, but he's kicked the ball out of play before, and Oh, so he's, uh, he's expecting that I... I've got it on. I, oh, I've got it on now. Josie's size fucking not happy. He's on side. Oh, he's looking for that. 100%. Just have a look. Oh, that's me with that penalty. He is fucking... That is a joke. I'm watching it now. Oh, you know, though, he could be... He could... He could be offside his boot. That, that's not oh a my God, that's a horrible dive. He's put both his feet in. He's, dragged his, he's legs. dragged his feet there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was checking it. I can't. That is, if that's a penalty, that's disgusting. V, I should be checking for side because it could have been offside. It looked like. No, I think the other defender had him on. I think it looked like when I watched up there, it looked like his boot was offside or his boot was close to it. Onside. That is definitely not a penny. He's fucking. He's done a double toe tap to stay on, like the. To connect with him. Give it. Ah. Oh. Awful. It was Tanner Chris Wood. Disgusting that awful. Here we 
move on. Scored it. <laughs> just about, literally just about to watch it now. But that's never that's never a penalty that. That is absolutely shocking. What's the point in VAR when you can clearly see he's the one who's initiated contact? Mm -hmm. He's looked for that. He could have easily stepped over the keeper's leg. Yeah. Good good penalty, to be honest, but it should never be in a penalty. No. That's an awful decision, that. So, should we say now on that bombshell? <laughs> that bombshell. <it's> good night. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Right, I have to call the old top gear yeah. and on that bombshell. That's it. Good night. <laughs> okay, the old top gear was fantastic. Uh, it's good penalty, but it shouldn't have been one. It shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been. But First then, of all, he kicked the ball out of play. But he's fucking. He could he's, never get into it. That's it. That's all he's done. He's fucking knocked it past them and then thought, right, I'm going to make sure I get brought down here. Yeah, I, I hear that, me. I hear that. That, that rule of doing that is disgusting. Fucking bad, bad crack, bad crack. But I suppose if the shoe was on the other foot, would be calling for it ourselves. I wouldn't be though. I'd, I'd accept. I'd be like, oh, get in, we've got it. But like, can you remember when I played uh, Bradford on the Boxing Day, and we won one out in the bar, and they had a shot and it went out of the line. I was like, oh, that's really not fun. <laughs> everyone could clearly see the ball was out of the line. Um, and if someone said me, I'd have went. It's not a penalty, but I'll accept it. But it's not a penalty. Yeah, you, you take it, like you take it, but uh, you know, like something. something we have the staunch the ball in Newcastle fans will be like, no, he fucking fell, he fucking fell. I know, and then they'll go back to the fucking the first one that got disallowed. They like, go, oh, but he wasn't say, well, he was. But I, it's mad that I, but yeah, it's, it's a dodgy, it's a dodgy one that one. He's a, like you said, he's a, he's an. He's initiated that contact by doing that fucking double toe tap, toe oh. drag. No one runs like that. You can't run like that. <laughs> you can't run like he's just done. And you're fucking just stopping. Nah, it was awful. Awful. But it is what it is. I think, actually, no, you say that. I'm sure I've got something. No, oh, it's just the Saturday, actually. The Saturday, the, um, the fight is. I'm sure I'm at a, a wedding up somewhere in fucking Newcastle. When the boys from footy. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I I might be. I am. <laughs> oh fuck, forgot all about that. <laughs> right, and then that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to try and sort that one out with normal when we gaffer. <laughs> shit. Mm, fucking hell. pigs will fly. But I you don't have to be fucking lend me shoes again, are you? Nah, I'm not going and fucking dressed up. I didn't think. Or a wedding? No, I'm not going. Like, it's only the reception do, like the nighttime do. Oh, I don't have to go. I'm not, nah, I'm not going. Daytime? Nah, to the nighttime. It's where your Chelsea's, isn't it? Nah, I did. Smart, smart shoes all day long. They're, you know, they're the best thing to do for like just nighttime, like, do is like kind of gang with them. Kind of gang with them. I'm just putting a uh, jacket on, red Perry Paul or jeans and my Chelsea boots for the boxing. Sorted. That's it. Absolutely sorted. 100%. I'm sure I've just heard everything say, fuck off. And on that bombshell. <laughs> oh, sure. There's going to be some bombs <laughs> getting... Getting slapped off. <laughs> There's going to get some bombs dropped right now. <laughs> right. Well, it's been a good episode. One good beer, one shite beer. A bit of good chit-chat. A um, couple of weeks not here. Um, I think it's gonna be not here, not here, here, then not here again because I'm down Sheffield mm. on that fucking Friday of the uh, <laughs> sticks of me or something. Oh, that'd be a mad one, mad. but yeah, we'll, we'll sort stuff out and we'll get stuff put back on. But yeah, it is what it is. Well, I might, might have, might have the winter break now. <laughs> Might take four weeks off. <laughs> but yeah. Busy, We're also uh, looking at the e ball, going to the e ball if you fancy it. The what? In here in August. What's that? Yeah, e ball festival at uh, York Races. I don't have any idea what that is. It's in, right, it's 
the Evo is a festival at York Race. Okay. It's at York Race Course in York. Mm-hmm. So I think there's loads, a few of us are thinking about going down on the day train and train back. When is it? DC? Uh, 20th of August. Might. I might not be here because it's my anniversary, the 22nd. So I think we might be gone away for over. But we'll sort, I'll sort out close to time. Might as well. Yeah? York races. Hi, <laughs> York for the weekend. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, there's the boys. <laughs> boys, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm like, lad, what are you doing in York? <laughs> <laughs> Christina sees straight through that. <laughs> well, she wouldn't know if we never mentioned anything and we just got there and she no. wouldn't have nothing else to do. No, that's it. And what, why we here? People would not eat now. <laughs> get, put, get a dress on, get dressed up. That's it, I'll tackle the yours, I'll tackle the races. <laughs> well, jobs are good. That's it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort them out later in time, but yeah. But, um, it's been a good little chat, good little, should I say, a couple of beers, one good, one really, really bad, probably supposed to be all bad, but yeah, we've had some mingers, but that's, that's up there with yeah, them, but yeah, so until next time, whenever that may be now, in a few weeks time, <laughs> Hi. we hope you all guys stay safe, uh, like I said, let us know what you thought of this video as normal, well, I advise against getting that beer, if you've got any Netflix recommendations which you think will be a good watch, then let us know something. So that's my Netflix. What? My, re- my Netflix recommendation is Jimmy Savile. My re- Netflix recommendation is definitely not an octopus fucking teacher. <laughs> Bored the life out of us after half an hour, fell asleep. I give up. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be. I was literally... got big bangs and fucking gunfire who are not interested. I was watching, I was literally lying in bed watching it on the Mac. And then I like I felt I was like shit. I'm not dropping this. Get off. Like that. That's enough. <laughs> Turn the what you said to the kids. Eh? <laughs> that's what you said to the kids. I was like, I fucking hell. So like, get straight off of here. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a bad one. But yeah, that's not worth a watch. That live woman lied to us, the bitch. <laughs> Our customers, the cunts. <laughs> and on that true, very bombshell. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll we'll catch you in a few weeks' time. Until then, like I said, we hope you guys stay safe, stay well, um, and we'll see you in a bit. We are the Brewskies. These were the Brewskies. We are Oskies. Stay safe, guys. Take it easy.